So this episode is all about the equip program with Nate Raw. So stay with us and learn how you can take advantage of that program. Hi, this is Tim and Dole. Welcome to Midwest Hunting and Outdoors by Two Dumbasses, a podcast about the outdoors, hunting, and being a steward of the land. Thank you for tuning in to our channel. If you like what you see, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. So if we're going to dive deep into a program, mm -hmm. what, what would make sense? Again, with the focus right. being... Hey, you're Tim or Joel or someone mm -hmm. in that situation where you're really a hobby farmer at best mm -hmm. and, and yep. probably just looking at habitat and hunting and things like that. Yeah, I think from the habitat, like just the hobby farmer type person, I, I would start with Equip. It's okay. the, just the bread and butter program that we work with for NRCS. And it, it probably geared a little bit more towards that type of you know person where they got a little bit more of a hobby farm. Uh, and they're looking at habitat or they're looking at pollinator habitat or forest management type stuff. Uh, maybe Does they're TS, looking up some TSI erosion type stuff. TSI, and yep, yep, burns and, yep, okay. yep, stuff like that. Uh, or say you're looking at, I got a gully out here and I need something to fix it. Okay. okay. Put in basins so or erosion something like control. that. Erosion control, okay. that type of stuff. Uh, the Kind of the kicker on the equip program is that you do have to be an agricultural producer so you you do have to be qualified as that as we talked earlier a little bit okay that can be the typical farmer corn bean or we could be talking about somebody who owns some forest acres that they're managing and that that's their commodity crop is the forestry stuff so you know that's the biggest thing sometimes you'll run into some people that only own two or three acres and it's a yard and it just it's you're not an agricultural producer unfortunately it's a tough uh, battle. yeah and it's a tough battle to try and find a program that that works for so uh, so nate if i'm i've taken almost my land out of out of agriculture and it's now in crp mm -hmm. but yeah. i was an ag producer before right. then would yeah. i still qualify as an ag producer yes yeah so if you, all of your lands in crp i would still consider you an ag producer it's still considered cropland even with fsa so even though it's in that conservation program, it's native grasses or it's the introduced species, grasses, trees, whatever, it's still considered cropland. Excellent. And so you're still considered an agricultural producer for sure. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Equip. What is equip? It's obviously yeah. an acronym. Isn't it's an it? acronym. Yep. Uh, so we're in alphabet soup, as, the, as people will call it. Uh, equip uh, is the Environmental Quality Incentive Program. And so that, again, is our really the big program that we focus quite a bit on. And that's the one that I think has been around for the most, most time. And it encompasses a lot <laughs> when you really think about it. And a lot of the folks, say our traditional folks that I work with, okay, I'm interested in putting in some terraces on my ground, or I'm interested in basins, and, or I'm interested in cover crops. Those types of folks, okay, that fits under EQIP. Say they want to do a one-year uh, cover crop contract, okay, we'll try to sign you up through EQIP. Or terraces, okay, what do we need to do to, to put these in? So I'll step back a little bit. You're going to come into the office, say this is what I want to do. You're going to come uh, and say these are the practices, this is where I want to put them on the map. Then we need to come out and actually look on the farm with you, have a site visit, really see what's going on and say, okay, what you want to do definitely works. We're going to do that. Or, well, that's not really going to work there, but maybe this will. Or just uh, this is something that's just what it's in currently is great and really we don't want to touch it. Sometimes we run into that. But then, okay, we get into the equip program, say for like habitat guys, you guys are usually interested in prairie plantings, food plots, that type of stuff. Okay, you're gonna come in and say, I wanna put in say CP25 or, or what I'll call actual prairie habitat where you're planting native grasses and flowers. And we're gonna go out and say, okay, that's where, where you want it. 
these are the type of soils that you have or your, your habitat you have as far as the, it's a wetter site or it's a drier site and these are the species that are going to work here. And then we're going to give you a plan for the seeding plan for that and we're going to then take all that stuff and we're going to put it into a ranking for equip okay and right now with equip everything is kind of specialty projects within equip so equip is broken down into 60 percent of our money in iowa has to be spent on livestock concerns mm. okay then outside of that then there's these other special funding pools uh, like source water protection and uh, historically underserved clients or we're going to have the wildlife habitat type stuff and specifically with wildlife habitat i think 10 percent of our money is set aside for wildlife habitat and if you fall under one of those special funding pools then there's a little bit more funding availability within those special funding pools Wildlife habitat is one that's a little bit easier to get into because of that. If you fall outside of that, then we have a non-target fund pool uh, that doesn't have as much money in it. And so that one's a little bit harder to get into. Just And some people, you know, outside of the wildlife folks, it's a little bit harder to, to get those in. Say if it's just a terrace and it's not in a specialty watershed or something like that, then they fit in that non-target and... Yeah, it's a little bit harder. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. So as far as, you know, we're going to go through all that, the ranking, as far as all the fun pools right now are set up that you're going up against everybody else in Iowa for your ranking. So wherever you fall out, it's up against everybody else. And if you get picked, great. Sometimes some people will fall out. Say if you, you, you're real close to that cusp on the ranking, some people might drop out and then we'll say, hey, oh, yeah, all of a sudden yours you got get, approved. You get moved yeah, up, you huh? get moved up. But sometimes we just we can't get it to rank high enough. And so you, you, we'll try for next year. Right. Sure. And then sometimes that turn in, into the conversation of, OK, this is what you wanted to do. Um, you are you interested in anything else that might help to enhance the ranking say you know you wanted to add in food plots or something and that would enhance the ranking for that time period or you know you wanted to do uh, prairie planting here but you wanted to do some tree plantings here and that might again enhance the ranking a little bit so nate if we were to say from using equip mm -hmm. from the application process to the appro approval process mm -hmm to the final, finally executing, mm -hmm. how long does that take? It depends on the practice mainly. So like for the wildlife folks, a prairie planting is pretty easy. You know, that's something that you can come in and plan and it's not gonna take very long. But from the ranking, say, okay, the sign up, say you do that in the summer and then our ranking cutoffs in October, October 1st, then we have all winter long where we're going to plan stuff out and then we're going to actually be ranking it in February. So then you're looking at the, you're into the next year. You may be able to do a planting that next spring, but you're probably more realistically looking at the next fall or beyond when you're actually putting it in. So you're, you could be looking at two years, at least one okay. that before you're actually putting something on the ground. And then so... Once I've been approved, mm -hmm. do I incur all the expenses and then, and then, well, I submit those expenses to to you guys and then I get my yeah approved money back. Yeah. So our programs work such that you're going to put the product in the ground or you're going to put something on the ground, whatever it is, the prairie planting, the trees, the the TSI work. We're going to come out and check it out. We're going to come out and say, okay, yes, you did what you're supposed to do and, and it meets our specs. So that's, that's the big key with all of our programs is that you have to meet NRCS standards and specs, Sure, sure. <laughs> which is just kind of part of when you do anything, say, yep. you know, Makes you're getting sense. a mortgage, you're, life, you got to make right? sure you're doing that. Yeah. It's just part of life. Unfortunately, you know, when you just got to follow program rules. So we're going to come out and check it out. Does it meet spec? As long as it meets spec, we're going to say, okay, turn in some bills. And then we're going to print out payment certification. You come in and sign and boom, we're going to have a direct deposit in your, in, in your, your account. account. Okay. 
Yeah. It's what I've experienced. Yeah. 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 It, it, and my experience was it's a year to, mm-hmm. it's one seasonal, what I call right. seasonal, at yes. least one seasonal right. cycle. Yeah. I think that that's probably if more appropriate. It's a seasonal spring, cycle. It's not going to happen this right. spring. It's, it's going to happen next, next March spring. at the yeah. earliest. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Again, keeping focused on habitat and mm-hmm. hobby farmers yep. and, and yep. uh, those folks, let's talk some examples. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'll throw some out and you can mm-hmm. add to them. But, mm-hmm. you know, I think forest burn would fit into mm-hmm. this, right? Equip. Yep. yep. Um, TSI, tree stand improvement. Tree stand if improvement. I wanted to go forest in, stand, and, yep. again, the forestry could help you with that. Mm-hmm. Um, you t- you've talked about some pl- prairie planting mm-hmm. and, and things like that. Yep. What other... Edge, I know. Buffers? Yeah, yeah. So buffers, say you got some cropland areas or just some areas that don't have trees on them or whatever, and you're wanting to just put in a buffer around the yard, you know, that buffers your forest land. Yeah, you could put in a buffer or say you want to put in, uh, uh, you got a gully erosion issue out back and, okay, maybe we can fit in a pond or a basin to to take care of that gully erosion. Uh, It's just trying to, you know, yeah, there's a, quite a bit of encompassing things that we can take care of. It, it's it's not just a set one thing with Equip. It covers quite a bit, actually. And, and again, we talked about this in the last episode, but if I had, you know, let's say I'm talking, I'm not, but mm-hmm. erosion here. Hey, mm-hmm. I've got really bad erosion. I think this would be a great place for a pond back here. Mm-hmm. Would it be yep. best to start with you or should mm-hmm. it be best to go to my forest, you know, my biologist, my forester yep. or whatever, whatever? Yep. So that, that comes down to, yeah, like you said, what are you wanting to get into? So if it's forest stand stuff, if it's forestry stuff, I would start working with Jeremy as soon as you can. You can come talk to us for sure. Great. I'll definitely work with you, but I'm definitely going to send you towards Jeremy and say, Hey, we got to do a tree stand improvement plan, or we need to be doing a tree planting plan, whatever is needed before we actually start getting into contracting stuff with us. Yep. With a prairie planting, it's a little bit easier. You know, that that one, I don't have to really farm it out, shall we say, <laughs> or, or, you know, go ask other people about it and, and get a specific plan with that. Uh, okay. Nobody in the office is certified to do forest stuff. Uh, so we get to more of the traditional equip, say the gully erosion where we need to put in a pond. Uh, I can still work with people in the office, but that takes a lot longer than say those tree plans because we actually have to come out to the site say okay yes you got a gully out there but what actually fits is it a basin is it a pond is it whatever and we're going to have to survey it take a you know take a whole bunch of survey shots elevation shots and then we're going to actually take soil cores if it's a pond uh, to make sure that you have suitable soils because uh, say you're building a pond and what's the big purpose you want it to hold water yeah, right <laughs> yeah. um, and so if you're building on soils that are inappropriate yeah you're not going to want to put a pond there you're not going to want to spend that much money and s- there's no water in it yeah. <laughs> and th- there are those situations so mm-hmm. so it's a lot it's a, it's a lot more involved and it, that that process is going to take longer for those engineering practices versus those management practices like the like the prairie plantings. They're going to be pretty easy, one and done type of deals. Any other ones, quick quick ones that you could point out that uh, might apply to? Yeah, or what like does brush, it qualify? Brush yeah. management would be something that you might invasive think species. about. Invasive species. That's something that's pretty big, especially around here. You got a lot of autumn olive issues, brush honeysuckle, that type of stuff. Yeah, you're definitely yep. going to be looking at that type of a program fits under equip okay. for sure. And so that would be one for sure. One that you don't, uh, I guess it would be more situational. I, I, I can't say for sure. Yeah, you guys don't have cropland that we're really looking at. So it doesn't really totally fall under like a CRP type program, you know, that type of thing. Um, or you're not doing cover crops out in the middle of the woods, you know, but, something like that. But by that very statement, there's not very much that doesn't fall into equip. No, right? no, it, it, it encompasses just about everything that you can think of. Not everything, but, you know, quite Pretty a bit. close. Yeah. And then as far as, you know, Tim alluded to the uh, process to get reimbursed, mm-hmm. paid for these things. Mm-hmm. I'm, ass- I'm assuming that information is on the website if yeah. people were interested in. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, how, mu- how much are we talking about right. as far as contributing to or yep. 
Yep. And I hate to really like quote prices or anything like that yeah. because that changes so much year yep. to year. And that's all set for equip through a regional uh, price list. So Iowa, I believe, and Minnesota, Wisconsin, regional, you know, a regional rate. And so, yeah, we're going to say, okay, I'm doing this and this is how much you get for it. So as far as equip goes, it's a flat rate. So I'm going to do a prairie planting and we're going to say, okay, this is what you get per acre for a prairie planting. Say it's $150 per acre to do that habitat. And so you're going to go out and you're going to plant it. You're going to then have us come out and certify it, turn in your bills. We're going to make sure everything where it needs to be. And then we're going to pay you that rate. It's not like say the CRP that a lot of people are a little bit more familiar with where that's an actual cost share program. They pay 50% up to a certain dollar amount. And that's not with us. Ours is just a flat rate. So whatever it costs you, we're still going to pay that dollar amount. Okay, cool. Is there anything, any big item that we missed on the equip program that I we should be talking so. yeah. about? Yeah, no, we... not unless you're thinking of no, something this is, specifically. This has been great. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, really good. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, let's close out then. So all like right. like all episodes, Tim. Yeah. Be safe. Be safe. Have, have fun. fun. And, and get, get outdoors. outdoors. Thanks for listening or watching our show. We have some exciting topics and guests coming up. We ask that you subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. We look forward to hearing your suggestions for topics, questions, and comments. This is Two Dumbasses signing off. Until next time, be, be safe, safe, have, have fun, fun, and, and get, get outdoors. outdoors.